You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage here at CES in Las Vegas 2014. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. And we have a very special guest with us. We've got Mike from HP. And you had to carry a computer all the way over here from God knows where you brought this It's thing. our pleasure. I cannot it's tell you how much I appreciate you doing that. Well, it's such a beautiful machine. We're happy to show it no off. No one else bought us a computer that big. It is, li that's true, they didn't. <laughs> no. That's right. It is literally my favorite computer in the world right now. It's mine too, so we have something in there common. There we go, <laughs> that's right, that's pretty true. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we are talking about HP's Z1 computer. It's an all-in-one design, right? Tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, what we've introduced this week is the, the follow-on to our current Z1, which we introduced back in uh, February 2012. It was the world's first all-in-one workstation. Great success, you reviewed it, yep. loved it, we appreciate that. And uh, we had to follow it up with some uh, more innovation. We feel like the first generation was over the top innovation, uh, changed the game in all-in-one computing. And uh, with the, what we're introducing this week is the Z1 G2, the second generation workstation. And uh, basically it's the most innovative uh, system we built yet. So what makes it G2? What's all the G2-iness about Wait, it? Wait, before he goes uh -oh. into that, I do want to tell a little brief story, okay? So the HP team has been really great to work with. They're very, very open to suggestions. And you guys sent us this product mm -hmm. for review. We played with it. We did all kinds of stuff with it. And we came back to you and said, love it, obviously. Mm -hmm. And there's like these three or four things that we'd really like to see be different. Mm -hmm. And? I swear to God, every one of those things was changed yeah. in the next version. You know what we pride ourselves in as a company, as an organization and workstations is listening to customers, listening to reviewers. You, we look at you as a user and every innovation we do, we don't just innovate for innovation's sake. It's customer-centric innovation. And when we launched the first generation Z1, we went and visited customers, we listened to customers, and a lot of great feedback, as you might expect. And so uh, with the G2, we incorporated some of those. We made it more usable. We made the stand more friendly to use, get it, to get it in and out of what we call service mode, which is the mode where you can open it up and- We'll show you uh, that in a minute. Expose the inner beauty of the system. But you also added some other killer features. We did. Number one, first of all, it's a giant, gorgeous screen. That was one of the things I really liked about it. But now, it's a giant, gorgeous screen that you can actually touch and manipulate. Yeah, so it's a 10-finger, uh, multi-touch screen. And uh, that was one of the uh, feedback items that we've received since we introduced. Everybody wanted to touch the system. Everybody felt like this just lends itself so nicely with the large, bright, vibrant screen to uh, touch. And so what we did is we went ahead and uh, implemented that. Well, it's the new normal, this. right? Everyone just expects touch now. When it's not there, it feels different. Well, the right. funny thing is, you know, the previous version, the one that I reviewed was running Windows 7, and I liked it because it was nice and stable, and it wasn't touch anyway, so I really didn't want, want Windows 8. But all of a sudden, as soon as this thing became touch, I'm like, oh, give me Windows 8. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's, that's really interesting in the way it changed my desire adding that feature to it. It certainly makes the system more intuitive. I think we're all used to using our hands and a keyboard and mouse is kind of a it's unnatural thing. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we did here. Uh, the, the other thing that we added, which is just as exciting, is Thunderbolt. Yes. So back in September, we launched a new lineup of ZBook workstations, our mobile workstations. The 15 and 17 inch have Thunderbolt. We also announced support for our tower workstations to be able to add Thunderbolt in those. That's Thunderbolt 2 capability. And now on the Z1 G2, we've also added Thunderbolt. So we have two Thunderbolt version 2 ports. And again, that's listening to customers. We 
hurt customers and a lot, of, a lot of users out there are really feeling abandoned by their current supplier. And We're not naming feeling names, feeling abandoned right? <laughs> from a professional standpoint, both from a hardware and a software aspect. Amen. And Thunderbolt, <laughs> Thunderbolt is a critical element to it them is. because it gives basically un Expon unprecedented exponential yes, uh, exactly. uh, storage you can forever. site, but with a fast enough bus to be able to, to use it. Right, so it basically takes the very fast internal PCI Express yeah. bus, bus and makes that available outside. Yeah. Fantastic. It's just amazing. So one of the things, I, I know some of you have not seen this before and you're looking and you just think, oh well, okay, this, this all sounds like a great computer, but what we really have to do is open it up to show them. Yeah, absolutely. Because this is, it's a great computer, great. But one of the hallmarks of, of a truly great computer is how easily you can service it. Mm -hmm. So can we can we sure. fold that thing flat and let's show them that sure. piece? Sure, and with uh, workstations, when we set out to design uh, the first generation, it had to let's be just a- Let's slide it forward. It here. had to be a no compromise design. And that includes professional components, Xeon processors, ECC memory, rated storage, and the like. But one of the things we've really led the industry in is toolless design. Toolless and serviceable design. So we put this down into its uh, service mode and it very easily opens up, uh, is what I like to say, exposing the inner beauty. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Slide it this way a little more. We, uh, we nice. worked very hard in the beginning to uh, create a simplicity and an elegance about this. And uh, obviously that's true on the outside, but that runs from the inside Absolutely. out. Uh, so, so what do you have inside there? So we basically have uh, uh, Quadro graphics. So we have a wide range of NVIDIA Quadro graphics from the uh, Kepler 2, they're all Kepler 2. Kepler 2, uh, 610. So workstation all the way quality up. graphics for people doing science, doing 3D rendering, right. doing all so that kind for, of stuff. Uh, photographers, yeah. for entry level CAD, all the way up to those doing high end 4K, 8K renderings, uh, mechanical analysis, crash analysis, those type of things. This, this has the ability and the robustness and the reliability to really handle all those, all those workloads. So basically, uh, I won't remove any uh, <laughs> components because it is running now, but, but you can support up to 32 gigabytes of ECC memory. Uh, we can support rated storage. We actually, with the G2, Z1 G2, we added MSATA support. Oh yeah, that's so pretty cool. You can actually cool. put three hard drive, three storage devices in this system. Uh, for instance, you could load your operating system and applications on the very fast MSATA drive while having your storage bay in a RAID 0, RAID yeah. 1. No one had ever done this in an all-in-one before. Uh, capable, it has a 400 watt power supply. And again, all this is tool toolless. These green labels the really tabs. indicate uh, where what the serviceable areas are. Well, if are. we didn't have it turned on, you could literally grab one of those tabs and just pull that unit right. out. Right, we can pull the hard drives in. out. Just yeah. as yeah. simple as that. Which is amazing, and that's what we were talking about when we talk about you know being able to very easily service it. It is by far the sexiest computer out there. It is just fantastic. I love the way it folds down, and actually. Um, when I had it, um, I took it over to the uh, Dallas Makerspace once. Nice. To, I took it over there to show them and to do some, some training for them. And it was nice to be able to just fold it flat, unplug it, take it there, open it up, and just go to town. So very good. Very now, nice. uh, so thank you for the updates on that. We do have a couple more minutes and uh, so before Great. we let you go, tell us about this little black beauty that yeah. you brought here. So I alluded to earlier in September, we launched a new lineup of mobile workstations. These are our ZBook workstations. And at that point, we launched a 17 inch, a 15 inch, and a 14 inch. And what I have here is the 14 inch version, which is the world's first workstation ultrabook. Wow. Uh, less than 3.6 pounds, uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution. And uh, less starting at less than fourteen hundred dollars. And uh, HP doesn't just throw the word workstation out there. When we you don't. use it, you mean it. This is uh, mil spec passes the mil spec certifications. It's certified for all of our independent software vendors, the professional applications. Those are things that are really demanded yeah. by our customer base. So tell us about the the what 
what kind of specs does this machine have that make it the speeds workstation and speeds done. capable? Right, so you can put uh, M SATA in there, you can put uh, uh, hard drives, uh, SATA hard drives. M SATA. And, and, uh, and hard a hard drive. Okay, so this we could also put like our OS and stuff on an, on M, an M SATA, SATA drive. drive. And then we could put a big traditional right. hard drive, so we have lots of storage, yeah. but also fast Absolutely. boot up times. And, and this goes through all the same testing as our other workstations do. Does it carry, because one of the cool things about the big, the big Z1 is it's got like a three year warranty, right? It, it, yeah, it, we can go even up to yeah three years. You could go longer, warranty. but I mean yeah. it's a minimum of three years. Right, and that comes as standard. How about standard. the laptops? Yeah. Same thing here. Standard and, and three-year warranty. Standard. That's huge. Yeah. And what kind of I/O do we have here? We've got so we've got some. Uh, we have some USB three. We have an HDMI uh, connection and uh, Ethernet, the Ethernet, old tried yeah. and true VGA. VGA. Uh, we still have uh, those uh, old uh, projectors out there. Nice. And again, went through and uh, touch screen. Uh, on this, this is not the touch screen, but it does have a touch screen option. Uh, that would be 1600 by uh, 900 resolution. Okay. So, uh, so you go down a little on resolution, but you get the multi touch yes. input. And can you get Thunderbolt on these? On the 14 inch, we do not have Thunderbolt, but on the 15 and 17 inch, Thunderbolt capability. And can you still get touch screen on 15 and 17 inch? Uh, just on the 14. Just the 14, okay. Yep. So you can either get touch screen or you can yep. go up and get the Thunderbolt. That's and the, right. And still That's the 1080p right. and all that. And as other. you move up the line, you really, this is best in class mobility. And moving up the line, it's ultimate in performance yeah, portability and portability or power. Yeah. For instance, our 17 inch, we can actually do a rated five storage. So that means you have wow. to have three hard drives <laughs> in wow. there, up to 32 gigabytes of memory. This supports up to 16 gigabytes. Serious wow. deal. Yeah, that would be great so, for like uh, running a show here with. Yeah, or absolutely. Something. Yeah, just amazing and in, in such a started. small, small form <laughs> yeah. factor. Don't get him started. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for bringing those out and uh, showing them off. I hope you guys go check them out. I mean, if you if you need a serious computer, these HPs, I, I don't, I am beyond the point of wanting to mess with any of the consumer stuff, even for personal use. I would yeah. rather have one of these bulletproof workstations. Yeah. They're built to a higher standard. They have better components. They have longer warranties. And the fact is, if you spend a little more on one of these, it's going to last you yes. long enough that it's a better value than buying the cheapest crappy thing that you can find yeah. that you're going to hate every time you open it anyway. It's value versus cost. It is. And this. The Z1 G2 starts at 1999. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, it's it's reasonable. And bang for the buck, yeah, what absolutely. you get is is spectacular. Cool. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. You guys, it. stick Thanks around. We've got a lot more coverage coming out of CES 2014 live. We'll be right back with more of it. <laughs>